This is R.D. Sharma Solution Class 12th. We are taking Chapter 18, Maxima and Minima. Exercise is 18.5. Show that the cone of the greatest volume, which can be inscribed in a given sphere, has an altitude equals to two third of the diameter of the sphere. Now the diagram will be something like this. There is a sphere. Imagine this is a 3D sphere, and inside this, we are trying to place a cone whose volume is the highest, greatest volume. So we'll show also that it will have the greatest or maximum volume. And this is the kind of scenario which is being created here. And the sphere, we have to show, after all the computation and calculation, we have to show that the altitude equal to two third of the diameter. So two by three into two R, that is two R twice of radius is diameter. So two third of the diameter, is equal to the height of the cone. So we need a relationship between height, this radius, etc. So just try to imagine. First, we have to say let, assume certain thing. So small h and small r, we are taking it as the dimension of cone. Height h, radius r. Now capital R is we are taking the radius of the sphere, capital R. And this h r small and capital r sphere let us point it out here let us assume that this is the center wherever you join any point of the circumference it will be capital r and this is the small r which is the base of the circle of the cone and if this is a cone see this is the r we are talking about small one and this is the small height we are talking about now next thing comes because assumption has already been made now from the figure what will be the height see let us mark the names if you want, that, that will be beneficial. But this portion, what is this portion? This portion, we can use the Pythagoras theorem because this capital R is the hypotenuse. Small r is the base and this is capital R square minus R square. We don't have to name it. It is just the com computation which has come from Pythagoras theorem, this height. And what about this one, this height? From this point to any point, because we are taking from the center, it is capital R. So height of the cone is capital R plus that small part which we got, got as under root capital R square minus small r square. So this one is the height and this is the most important aspect of this question. If you are able to make this expression, other things are quite easier because you know what to do now. Let us take this capital R on the left hand side and square it. H minus capital R whole square is equal to under root R square minus small r square. So we just squared it. And there will be a relationship because h minus r whole square, we are going to square it. a square minus a square plus p square minus 2ab. This on the left, this on the right, r square minus r square, capital R square minus small r square. And this capital R square gets cancelled. So we'll have a relationship between the small h, r and rh. So r square can be represented, small r can be represented either in height or height can either be represented in r. So one first equation is being prepared now. Now what is the volume? Volume of a cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h because we need to maximize minimize this only. So pi r square h. Now this r square is coming from the first step. That is in the first step we have computed already this r square and I'm replacing now this small r square with 2 into h into capital R minus small h whole square. So 2 h r minus h square. So now you are ready with a relationship which is v. Next step is the differentiation of this function with respect to h. That's why we had all the h on the right hand side. So dv by dh will be pi by 3, 4 h r minus 3 h square. So we need to multiply this inside and then we can differentiate. And next will be dv by dh equals to 0. That is the differentiation when we place it against 0, we'll get the critical point. When we place this as 0, 4hr minus, this cancellation can be done. So you'll have a relationship of h with capital R. And when you have the h with capital R, we can have a relationship of small r with the capital R. So you can write this h equals to 4 by 3r. This 4, this 4r can be written as 2 into twice of capital R. This twice of capital R is nothing but the diameter. So this, we have already reached the answer now because we wanted or we were supposed to prove that the height, which is the altitude of the cone is equal to two third of the diameter. That has already been done. But the 
step to prove that actually the volume will be greatest actually the volume will be highest that can only be done when we have the double differentiation so the next part is the differentiation already being done now that differentiated equation has to be used and then double differentiation has to be done d2v by dh2 so when we double differentiate it it is pi by 3 4 capital r minus this uh, expression and this differentiation is already the second differentiation and when we just place this small h by 4 small h by 4 capital r by 3 you are going to get a value which is negative don't worry about the value value worry about the sign now the negative sign means less than zero that means the greatest volume now this step has to be completed by you but finally is h equals to 4 r by 3 we have proved by the main key which is making the first expression so the expression number one is the most important key here other things are quite known to you and this is simply r square but don't worry about this we have already seen that because sometimes you would like to uh, find out small r also but it is not required here that's why we did, didn't do it prove that the semi vertical angle of the right circular cone of a given volume and cur least curved surface is cot inverse under root 2 this question also needs a proper diagram and then the expression from the diagram so volume is given we need curved surface area and that needs to be least so i am making a cone i am talking about this angle and this is the theta we are talking about this is the height this is the radius small r now what we have assumed first let us know that the radius we have assumed to be small r the height we assume to be h small h and this is the slant height which is the this one so slant height is what l square will be h square plus r square so this volume and volume we will take it as capital v and curve surface area as capital c so the second part is this volume which is 1 by 3 pi r square h when we have this 1 by 3 pi r square h it will be 3 capital 3 into uh, capital v which we is which is actually the volume and so we have a relationship 3v by pi r square by is equal to h now this slant height is simply under root h square plus r square you already know about this because this is a right circular cone so this l will be equal to h square plus r square and since in the second part or second step we have already computed h we'll replace h square by 3v square by pi square r to the power 4 r square is already there and with under root they are inside the root so you will get a relationship or an, an expression for l and what do you think we need the least curve surface so the curve surface is what just start thinking about that because this is what i am resolving but i hope you'll be able to do this but the key is here the curved surface what is the curved surface if you remember it is equal to pi into r into l pi is the 22 by 7 3.14 constant number r is the radius and l is the slant height and that r l is equals to under root h square plus r square so c is pi into r into l and this in place of l try putting what we got in the third step third step so once you have this c's there will be certain calculation or in computation and once you are done with this the next thing will be this dc or c dash you can call it as dv by dr we are doing now you will ask why we are doing this dv by dr see this differentiation because we need the least curve surface so dv by dr will not be the concept okay we are actually different we need to differentiate dc by dr so just change this this is not dv by dr this is this is dc by dr there is a slight uh, change here so dc by dr i have written dv by dr but assume it to be dc by dr and that is simply pi into r into l l will be what we got in the third step because we already replaced the what we got in the second step in the third step so once you differentiate this you are going to get this this dc by dr you have to done do and this is equal to zero dc by dr has to be zero in order to get the least or you know the highest curve surface when you equate it to zero there is some certain relationship and the expression will be formed what it can be what it can be and that is equated to zero because there are two parts which i showed here and when we have a relationship it will be v equals to under root 2 pi square r6 by 9 and in order to get r see this r same expression we can get r also so this r will be 3v by pi root 2 to the power half v is this one r is this one 
because this we got when we place dc by dr equals to 0 dc by dr was the differentiation so when you actually simplify this under root 2 pi square r raised 6 by 9 you will eventually get pi r cube under root by 3 now this v can be replaced here and h is 3 into v by pi r square we already have a v which we just resolved so this is 3 pi by root 2 and since 3 v 3 into v v is what pi r cube under root 2 by 3 pi r square was already there in the denominator so there will be certain calculation and computation and this will give you r root 2 so the h and r are related by root 2 now what is h by r h by r is equal to root 2 now if you take this as tan theta this is perpendicular by base r by h is tan theta this is theta i am talking about this is r this is h so when you take tan theta it will be r by h but we are interested in h by r what is h by r the opposite or the inversion of tan will be cot r by h if it is done as h by r it will be cot theta so cot theta is h by r and this is a root 2 so theta is equal to cot inverse root 2 so this is what we were expecting and we got it there is one more step you have to double differentiate d dash c by dr square or d double dash c you can say that c double dash has to be done so these are the direct result but all these differentiation has to be done by you main key is to, is the making of expression that is very important once you make the expression this differentiation equating it to zero all these things are quite easy and that can be completed by you in, in no time which i can presume an isosceles triangle of vertical angle 2 theta is inscribed in a circle of radius a show that the area of the triangle is maximum when theta is equal to pi by 6 okay now this is a 2d example don't assume it to be 3d it's 2d there is a circle and there is a triangle here we are talking about a triangle so two opposite sides of isosceles triangles are always equal and i have marked it there it also let us assume this is the center if you join this this is going to be the radius and radius always we assume it as a you know in this question we assume it is a but we always do it as r r has become a here right so we will take this angle as 2 theta you will just know why we are taking this as 2 theta we could have taken it as theta but it is 2 theta now please assume that a chord whatever angle it makes at the center whatever angle it makes in the above part it is twice in the ratio that is if the above this angle is 2 theta by the property of the chord this angle will be twice of 2 theta that will be 4 theta i hope you got why why we got it if the above angle is 30 degree the the center angle which which the chord is making will be 4 theta that is 30 into 2 60 degree so now mark it this is a this is b this is d now see just one by one what we are doing triangle abc first first one abc is a is an isosceles triangle ab and ac are equal here let us say that it is ab is equal to ac now what is ad here because this is the height of that triangle and i the area of the triangle is half into base into altitude so we need altitude so ad is what ao plus od you can write it as AO plus OD. All right. What is AO? It's quite simple. From the center to any point on the circumference, if you draw a line, it will be radius. How about OD? Now make it make a separate triangle. This is 2 theta from the property of the chord making an angle at center and at the circumference. So this is 2 theta. So when you have this 2 theta, what will be base and hypotenuse? See, when whenever we have this angle, I'm making this angle. There are two triangles. 2 theta can be anywhere. So this is base, this is height. So always the base when you have the angle will be cos theta and the opposite will be sin theta. What I am trying to suggest here is AO as I said R and A we will use it uh, equivalently A but OD is going to be A cos theta and BD will be equal to A sin theta. You know what is the sin theta, cos theta and tan theta? The sin theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse, cos theta is perpendicular. Pandit Bhaddi Prasad Har Har Bol. That is what you have to remember, right? Now, this uh, we have A cos 2 theta because 2 theta was at the angle. So, this will be A sin 2 theta. OD is A cos 2 theta. BD is A sin 2 theta because BD and DC are equal. 
बिकॉज वी आर ड्रॉपिंग अ परपेंडिकुलर फ्रॉम ओ ए साइन टू थीटा ए साइन टू थीटा विल बी विल बी ट्वाइस ए साइन थीटा सो बी सी लेंथ ऑल्सो बी गॉड बी सी इज बी डी प्लस डी सी एंड सिंस दे आर इक्वल बी डी इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द ट्राइंगल ओ बी डी आई एम अगेन सेंग इफ थीटा इज दिस वन इफ इज दिस इज आर the opposite side perpendicular side will be r sin theta the base will be r cos theta that's what we are using it here so a sin 2 theta plus a sin 2 theta will be twice a sin 2 theta Where, wherever i am writing theta just assume that it is 2 theta i'll just change it but you got the idea okay what what is the area area of the triangle is half into base into altitude half into base, base into height what is base base is bc what is height it is ad so this is a b c altitude is ad it was ao plus od and we fo we formed an equation out of it then bc we formed an length out of it so bc is bd plus dc and they are both equal to a sin 2 theta so half into base into altitude that is half into a twice of a sin theta into a 1 plus cos 2 theta okay now multiply these and try to form an equation because ultimately you have to prove something that theta is equal to pi by 6 so all these are 2 theta as i as i told you that all these are 2 theta because uh, assuming 2 theta as angle bac boc by itself will get 4 theta now this is a square sin 2 theta cos 1 plus cos 2 theta okay now second thing will be the you can try replacing things or you can differentiate you can just multiply inside and once you multiply inside or you can use the product rule also but better way is to multiply inside a square sin 2 theta plus a square cos 2 theta so sin 2 theta into cos theta 2 theta is what if you multiply it with 2 it will be because 2 sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta so sin 2 theta 2 sin 2 theta cos 2 theta will be sin 4 theta but since we have multiplied 2 and divided by 2 there will be 2 also now this whole a has come in a form which we understand and now there will be no product rule etc just differentiate this so i am differentiating it right now and differentiation is quite known to you now this 2a square you can take common you will get cos 2 theta plus cos 4 theta now this cos 2 theta plus cos 4 theta has to be or you can say da by d theta has to be placed as zero da by d, d theta or a dash we have already computed now i am placing this 2a square cos 2 theta plus cos 4 theta equals to Equals to zero. This two a square cannot be zero. So cos two theta plus cos four theta has to be zero. So cos two theta, I am writing it here because of the lack of the space. Cos two theta equals to minus cos four theta. But you know negative can be taken inside if you place pi inside. That is minus cos four theta is cos pi minus four theta. It is cos pi minus four theta. So now you have cos cos on both the sides. You can just equate this theta with This two theta with pi minus four theta. Now this four theta comes here. It is six theta. Six theta equals to pi. So theta is equal to pi by six. And that was what expected from the question. All right. So all these steps we have done just to get the theta is pi by six. First you have to make the line line uh, length in terms of theta. And then we have, uh, the the final step is d two a by d theta square. Okay. That you already know. You have to show that it has to come as negative. this particular value and to prove that the triangle is having the maximum area this step also has to be done okay and you just place put this theta equals to pi by 6 and then you can find out that it is actually less than equal to 0 which i am trying to show it here also but i leave it to you for double differentiation but the whole idea is to start the question which i already it's uh, it is being started and we have reach that equation which is which was a prominent thing of making it so this 2 theta and 4 theta that's why we we didn't end up handling theta by 2 and theta by 4 so this base and altitude is the most important aspect other things are known to you when to put zero when to have double differentiation this will take in the next discussion till then thank you so much and take care of yourself